It is the same ya that comes in the mudar ya. You know? Tazhabina, remember? Tajlisina, Tarjiina, that is the same ya, okay? For anti. And hatu, where is the file? Wow. And hatina, where is the file? Nununiswa. Just remember it, brother and sister. Fine. Now, number 18 is a very interesting exercise, brothers and sisters. How many of you have gone to the website of Medina University? You should all go, huh? All of you? Huh? you uh, uh, brother Hassan, have you been? Okay. Because all these things are there with pronunciation and everything. It's a wonderful, wonderful thing, brother. It was not there when we were doing, we were learning Arabic. These are all beautiful tools that are there and for you to sit down and uh, take advantage of it. So, uh, in the website, the five verses of Surah Rahman, Surah Hadid, and Surah Al-Nabai, these are all given there. Read it, brother. Huh? And if you get a time, write it. Okay, brothers and sisters. Al Kalimatul Jadidatu. Majallatun. What is the plural? Majallatun. Jama Monas Salim. Okay, brothers and sisters. Rakibun. Rukkabun. See, this is also on a pattern. Rukkabun. Fu alun. What is the pattern? Fu al. Can you think of some other uh, plurals on this pattern? Tullabun. <laughs> Common. And then tujarun. Are you with me? These are also on the same pattern, okay? Shakkatun. Brother, it is shakkatun. In the new Medina book, there is a mistake. It says she. Brother Abdul Samad? It is shakkatun. Give it a fata. Huh? Give it a fata. Shakkatun. And then jama is shakakun. Huh? Those who are using new Medina books, please correct it. It is shakkatun, shakakun. What is the meaning of shakkatun? Apartment. Apartment. Huh? Imaratun building Amairu. Hmm? Amairu. Sinnun. Your tooth. And Asnanun. Teeth. Kalimatun, word. Kalimatun, jama. Now, this is very interesting. Suratun. The surah in the Quran. And what is the jama? Suharun. So these are the things, brothers and sisters, inshallah, you will memorize it. The best way is to revise. And as we learn and read more, we try to retain it in our mind, brother. Ja'a. What is the meaning of Ja'a? He came. Huh? And Kawa, he ironed. Huh? Okay. Very good, brother and sister. Now we go to lesson number seven. Adarsus Sabiyo. Now, what is the difference between Adarsu Sadisu? Adarsu Sadisu? And Darsus, Darsus Sabiu, brother. In lesson number six, we had all singular verbs. Hua, hia, anta, anti, ana. Now will come plurals. Antum, antunna. Whenever there was a question, okay, a karati or a karata, what was our answer? Naam. Karatu. So if the question is, azahabtum 
Or Zahab Tunna, what will be your answer? Zahab Are you with me? A Zahab Tum, did you all go? Yes, we went. Huh? So, if the question is Zahab Tum or Zahab Tunna, and then you will say Zahab So, this is the most beautiful, you know, way Dr. Sahib, Dr. Abdul Rahim has explained us. You know, piece by piece, you know, all these different forms of verbs with different pronouns. Alabu, the father. Aina zahabtum baada darsi ya abanai. We always have to look whom this statement is addressed to. Are you with me? Ya abanai. Abanai. How many words are there? Two. Mudaf, mudafile. Oh my sons. Abanai is my sons. Abanau, mudaf. And then ya mutakallim, mudafilehi. Got the idea, brother and sister? It is a compound. Mudaf, mudafilehi. Aina zahabtum baada darsi. What is the translation? Where did you go after the lessons? What is the answer? Zahab na ilal malabi. We went to the playground. So look at it, brothers and sisters. Zahab and then na. So what is here? How many words are there? Two. Zahab fiel na five. Huh? And what is ilal malabi? Char maju. Is this jumla shmiya or failure? This is jumla failure. Zahabna, brother. The sentence starts with verb. What is the verb, brother Muhammad? Zahabna. Zahab and na. Na is five. So what, what will you say? Is this jumla shmiya or failure? This is jumla failure. Then there is no need for shibbu jumla khabar. <laughs> Don't make that mistake. Huh? No shibu jumla khabar here, brothers and sisters. Huh? Okay. Now the same rule again. A and am. Separate them. Laibtum is the verb. What is the meaning of laibtum? Laiba, he played. So laibtum, another new verb. Huh? Now we don't know whether you played soccer or whether you played basketball, okay? So if you are asking about two things, then one has to come after a, and other will come after am. So look at it. A koratal khadami laibtum am koratasalati. What is the translation? Did you play soccer? In English we'll say, did you play soccer or basketball? But if you make a literal translation, then what will happen? Soccer? You played? Or? Huh? But that's the way it should be. Huh? Any other way will be wrong. If you say, alaib tum kurat al kadami am salati, then it will be wrong. When you have a and am, we got to Separate them. Two things that are being asked should be separated. Okay? <coughs> See, what is the answer? Laib tum. What is the answer? Laib na. Laib na. Where is the verb? Laib na is the file. Laib na al yauma. What is al yauma? Zarfu zaman. Kurat al kadami. We played soccer. Laib na kurat salati. Phyllis Boel Mahdi. Translation, brother? We played basketball last week. We played last week. Huh? We played last week. Okay. Last week we played uh, basketball. 